Oddly enough, I was supposed to be doing this uh, video earlier yesterday, and uh, uh, it's been quite a, a bizarre well, actually two days, a Thursday and Friday. So this vlog will cover Thursday and Friday. Uh, that's today, and into later on tonight. Uh, it, I haven't. I'm supposed to be in my crash recovery mode, where I'm supposed to be recovering from. Uh, this, uh, a rather heavy amount of exhaustion uh, due to uh, me pulling too many all-nighters. But <laughs> the result is that uh, working on my IPTV and a couple of the other projects, I ended up pulling another all-nighter again. So uh, I've got this thing where now Thursday and Friday are kind of morphing into one day. Uh, there was a problem with my network yesterday that I had to sort of work on. And that kind of uh, interrupted my sleep, so I didn't get a, a steady sleep through. Um, but well, this has sort of been one thing after another. And so here we are. Uh, normally I'm going to bed at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. That's what I did the last vlog. And uh, it's already 11 a.m. and I haven't gone to bed yet. I probably will be heading off to bed. Uh, for a bit of a sleep uh, in about an hour to two hours. So it looks like it's 11 o'clock now. Uh, I'll probably be going to sleep around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> That's kind of the way things go. Um, like I said, I did a lot more work on my, on, on my IPT setup. Uh, I was able to watch... Uh, let me show you here. I've got a documentary on top. And then uh, here I've got my. This is my. These are my uh, production notes where I can write things out. And I had uh, just finished watching um, uh, Cassandra at Nerds RL. I watched uh, their latest video, and the cool part was I'm at. Uh, where is it? I'm at. Uh, my comment came up as uh, number 27, so I got the 27th comment on there. That was cool. The other thing that's cool that I was really I'm really happy with is um, if we go to my channel here for a minute. Let's go to my channel. What you see is I'm at 101 subscribers, so yay for 100 subscribers! I passed the 100 mark. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that I was uh, saying that. Uh, I was stuck at 60, and now hey, here we go. I'm at 100. So that's uh, that's a that's a good thing for me. I, I'm happy with that. Thank you for all those who uh, did subscribe. Uh, it's gonna be uh, quite an achievement to see how far I can get with this. And uh, bit by bit, the IPTV IPTV is coming together. Uh, bit by bit, the open IPTV projects coming together as well. That means we're, we're uh, Cyborg Alpha TV is uh, starting to become functional, and uh, we can look forward. To I can look forward to actually having a TV channel. So, anyways, uh, I've got some more work to do that I've got to get done. Uh, then I'm gonna have some cereal, some, some cereal, some breakfast kind of thing, uh, breakfast for dinner, and then uh, I'll get back to you and say good night. That. Maybe noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> All right, bye bye. It's about uh, two o'clock in the morning, and this is gonna be a uh, weekend-long vlog. That's primarily because, uh, well, the way, the way things are going, uh, there isn't really a lot of time to. Uh, <laughs> this isn't starting. There isn't a lot of time. Sorry about that. The timer wasn't starting properly. There isn't a lot of time to um, split up the vlogs, and, and all, there's also not a lot of downtime. It, it, the way things are going right now is that uh, one day is is sort of blurring into the next, and it's hard to separate the days. So the best way to uh, to accomplish the vlogging properly is to do this as one very long vlog from Friday to basically Monday morning. So 
Uh, that's the way it's going to work. And that's actually kind of how I'm doing my sleeping. Uh, I'm not actually having uh, a regular bedtime where I'm, I'm just going to go to bed and that's it. Uh, I go to bed for a bit, then I get up. You know, th in other words, I have what I call a recovery period where I need to sort of rest up a little bit because of because of the crash. And um, then once I've gotten to that point, the rest point, which is about three, four hours, uh, then I get up again and do some more work. You know, uh, and however long that takes me, that could be uh, another eight, uh, eight, nine hours at least, maybe. And then go back to bed again. Uh, it, 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 in other words, the the days and nights uh, are in flux. When I'm awake and when I'm asleep is in flux. So there's no way to sort of uh, quantify it in the standard uh, calendar day. And so the vlogs would be uh, really difficult to piece together. So the best way to do it is uh, do a three-day weekend. Uh, because it's going to be, in many ways, just one long day. So that's the way I'm going to approach this, the whole, uh, <laughs> the whole, the whole, uh, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It was, no, it was on the tip of my tongue and then it's just gone. Uh, that's how I'm going to approach the, the vlog, the whole, uh, over the whole, the whole weekend. Uh, Beyond that, uh, I still have some uh, some work to do on Beauty and the Geek. I hope to get that done sometime later on today. I have to work on the uh, show uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix of Tau. Uh, those are the two shows that I've got to get out for this weekend. The uh, for the next weekend, I'm going to be trying to do um, uh, adding in the uh, Beauty and the Geek and uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix of Tau. On a regular basis. In other words, I want to get a up, up, up. I want to shoot it and get it up on a weekly basis, and then start getting in the working in the other filming uh, into schedule. I just got a new camera now uh, that I can take out for wandering. It's it's an outdoor camera. It really does do a job. Uh, it does is appropriate job for outdoors because it has a protective case on it. Is like one of those action GoPro cameras, but this is a sort of a cheap one. That's the way I usually do it. Is I got this one for like for like fifty dollars, so it's a cheaper camera. Uh, I saw some of the uh, footage on uh, YouTube before I actually bought it, and uh, was I agreed that this was actually a good camera. So uh, it's a matter of I'll show you the camera right here. This is it. It's the Emerson HD uh, GoPro type of thing. It's an action, we call it an action camera. And uh, I'm going to be testing it out uh, sometime over the weekend. And uh, probably Monday, Tuesday, I'll include it in the vlog so you can actually see how it works and uh, see the sound quality and so on and so forth. In other words, I'm going to be testing it out to sort of make sure that everything works properly on here and do what I usually do and figure out the, uh, the various uh, quirks. Anything you buy that's used, even new, uh, there are a lot of quirks and there are a lot of uh, unusual behaviors to it that you've got to sort of really work around and learn to sort of deal with and get it functional into whatever you need to be doing with it. So that's sort of what's going to be happening here. And I'll be setting up another uh, place to record in, uh, to do filming in for uh, a whole new segment that are coming up later on. And, but I haven't exactly done that just yet. That's sort of on the schedule for today as well. Anyways, that's it for this segment. Uh, I'll probably come get back to you probably around 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, let you know what's been going on. Take some better uh, production notes. Alright, take it easy. Bye-bye. Time for another segment of this BTS vlog. It's about uh, 5.40 in the morning. Yeah. It been a very long night, very long, uh, a lot of work I've done. Uh, what I've been working on that's been uh, keeping me so sort of busy and preoccupied. Good. Here we go. Is I've been working on IPTV and it doesn't matter how you get IPTV, it needs to be configured. 
and there are so many different ways you can configure it that it really does take some uh, amount of effort to get things done the way you want. So I finally did get things done the way I want. Um, and the thing is, is that while you go into these open source communities, because uh, Android is open source, and there's a lot of help in the communities, uh, one of the things you have to remember is that just because a solution works for one person doesn't necessarily mean to me, doesn't necessarily mean that the solution is going to work for you. And so this is kind of the case here, and it took me a while to sort of figure out uh, what is what, and I've, uh, I sort of got a good solution for myself, so I'll show you what the solution is. Here we go here, that's my, uh, my computer, I've got my, my notes up here. These are my, uh, right here, this is my, uh, this is my, right there, that's uh, my uh, production notes. So I can figure out what's going on, but up here, this is my new IPTV setup now. It's got wallpaper, it's the, rather than just having the regular screen the way I had before, it's got wallpaper. It's got a nice um, uh, uh, launcher on it now, so I have access to it just the way you have on your cell phone. On your Android cell phone, you have access to all your uh, applications and that you want to sort of set up. I can go back and 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 see now I've got uh, I've got a full uh, a full on uh, screen here. I'm actually using a mouse. This is a mouse here that I'm using. Uh, I don't have a keyboard attached to it. Uh, if I wanted to, there's my MX here. I can go into here very easily. Takes a while. Huh? And there's my videos. These are videos that I have uh, on a uh, USB stick. There's Lizzie, Sabrina, Teenage, uh, Lizzie McGuire, Sabrina, Teenage Witch, uh, Zoe 101. These are rather easy to start up. So if I'm not doing anything, I can just sort of start that one up. And we will take a look and see what it is. It takes a few, few seconds of this. There you go. Nice quality here. So that got that, I've got that basically on demand. So let's get out of here. And uh, the next one we go into is I, I don't really like uh, I don't really like uh, what you call it uh, uh, YouTube that much in terms of the app. So I typically typically go through the mobile site. And this will take a few seconds to start up. This one does, and this is some of the quirks here. You have, this is where you have to test some of the stuff out. The quirks do pop up, do show up, and but once they do show up, whoop, there's usually ways you can sort of fix it up. Here we go. Comes up with my what to watch. And uh, here we go. Here we can go. Um, Europe's strongest earthquake. We can watch this one here for a bit. And we'll get into here. Could be a little slow. For some reason it's acting a little bizarre. And that happens. This this is something that, that does happen, so. And this is I want to log into. This is the YouTube app that's on here now. And here we go. And this is uh, videos from YouTube uh, through a uh, through a uh, browser. So we can see this here. And it works very well, you know. And now I can watch videos and documentaries up here, whether it's from my network or from uh, YouTube or wherever on the internet. Uh, I can watch whatever I need to watch in terms of my documentaries. Or if, you can, if I want to relax, I can watch my anime on here, cartoons and whatever. Whatever I choose to watch, I can watch. And this is the cool part here. You know, this is, this is IPTV. This is in independent. And I just uh, right click and I go back to the main screen here.
So that's what I've been working on uh, for the last couple of days. Getting things organized, getting things properly set in place, uh, and making sure that all the various different bits and pieces kind of fit together so that when you do uh, watch your TV, you're doing IPTV, uh, you have whatever shows you want set up, set up. And there are a lot of good apps out there, but also there are a lot of crappy apps out there as well. And these are the, you're going to have to try and see what's good for your device. See what happens. What, just because something works on one device doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work on another device. And that's why you have to sit down. This is where configuration comes in and, and work out the bugs so that it's working for what you want it to do. Now, and that's the thing is IPTV really has to be tailored for your specific needs and for your specific wants. And it's not going to be there right out of the box for you. This is if you're going off the mainstream. You don't want to pay for cable. You don't want to sort of, you know, pay for the standard for you. you want to go off and get something different well this is it here this is IPTV this is open IPTV where you're dealing with a lot of open source code you're dealing with uh, uh, basically a community that, that's sort of developing on, on, on a daily basis so some things will work some things won't work and you're gonna have to sit down and really kind of figure it out anyways that's what we've done now for today for now and for the last few days and, and now this is all up and working and so I'm more or less done in terms of configuring the IPTV here now it's on to uh, <laughs> or not on to uh, but back to the uh, standard work schedule and you know moving forward with things anyways uh, that's it for now as I said these vlogs are going to continue uh, this this no, not these vlogs uh, it's, this vlog th uh, is going to continue all the way until uh, Monday morning, probably around 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, we'll end the vlog and I'll go to bed, finally go to bed, and that will be it. So anyways, for the vlog, and, and then we'll start uh, vlogging again all, all over again on Monday evening. Anyway, so I will see you in a couple hours, uh, fill you in what's been going on since then, and uh, so see you then. Alright, bye-bye is the interlude I was speaking of. As I said earlier, that in many cases, uh, when I go to sleep, I don't stay asleep for straight through. I wake up uh, about three, four hours later, and there's a brief pause in my sleep, sort of collect my thoughts a little bit more, and then go back to bed again. Uh, and so this is sort of the case here, is that uh, I'm at the research desk, uh, for my interlude, and the interlude basically means a uh, pause or a break. <laughs> Usually there's some music playing in between, so. <laughs> but that's not. Uh, I just sort of finished that now. Uh, it just sort of. What happens in many cases, the dreams are so bizarre that it reaches a point that uh, I have to get up and uh, just sort of uh, take a break from sleeping and then uh, go back to bed after a little bit. Uh, to see what I can, you know, how much more sleep I can get. So, the interlude has occurred, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going back to bed. But the thing is, is that uh, I don't know how much more sleep I'm going to get, and I don't know when I'm going to sleep again. So, in terms of the time, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, anyways. I just thought I'd let you know about this. <laughs> Since we are doing a family vlog, uh, you know, I thought it was the thing to do. Alright, see you in a couple hours. It's about uh, 8.30, it's Saturday, and <coughs> I need to know the date, because uh, um, date and time stamp, it's uh, Saturday, October 19th, 2013. Uh, yeah, this is the, sort of the next segment uh, over the weekend, and uh, I got up. I was just just finished watching my favorite movie, The Goonies. Yeah, Goonies is one of my favorite movies. I've always always liked that movie. Uh, it, it, I like the movies where the under the the, uh, the underdog uh, or, or there's always an impossible odd that always they always seem to overcome. It kind of reflects where where I'm going in my life is that I'm trying to do some very difficult things and. Uh, you always need that motivation to keep going. So, and now I'm watching another documentary again. So that, that, that's the cool thing about the IPTV is you can 
choose what well, go from uh, something that's relaxing and you know inspiring or not, or, or even just sort of just plain old entertaining to something that's more serious so uh, it, it, everything's back in order in terms of my uh, I don't in terms of in terms of the content the amount of stuff I can watch I can watch on the IP TV uh, I've actually got more content on here than I did with uh, <laughs> the regular TV regular cable TV so uh, cables not gonna be missed so <laughs> <laughs> is so that's I guess that's where things eventually will go. There's still a fair there's still a fair bit of ways to go before uh, uh, you get to the point where there is no more cable. But uh, 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 we're certainly moving in the direction uh, in that direction. Uh, the question is whether or not uh, you can keep it independent or not. Now that's I'm, I'm on the independent wavelength, and it appears to be that a lot of the major cable companies, the major uh, content providers, like you know the media companies, are trying to come in and sort of muscle their way into IP. It's uh, two o'clock on uh, Saturday, two o'clock in the morning on Saturday, and uh, in just five hours I have to get up and get ready for church. So I'm gonna take a short nap. Yes, yeah, I'm here. And I'll show you that uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu, the mobile version, is now working. I've got uh, all three of the uh, Androids. Here. So all three are working. Uh, the backpack is more or less set up. There's the backpack on the couch. So that's uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu. It's the portable version. I'll be testing out some of the shots for uh, Wandering, uh, the new web series. I'll be doing. I'll be testing out the new uh, HD camera, the uh, the uh, action camera. This is an outdoor camera that can, that can get wet and all those type of stuff. I have to be a little quiet because everybody is sleeping. So, beyond that, uh, uh, I just thought I'd say a quick hello and uh, get on with things. Alright, see you tomorrow. Well, the way things work, um, there's nothing that's ever usual around here, so things are always changing and um, things are about to change again. Uh, what's going to happen is there are going to be two videos right in a row. This segment and the next segment. What happens is, and this is what will sort of demonstrate some of the problems they have here in terms of dealing with the day on a day to day issue, uh, when uh, the day to day issues. I am somewhat ending the weekend, the day, of, uh, which is the, the one long day. And it's been one long continuous day, basically. Since, since Friday, it's been one long continuous day. And I've been vlogging throughout different sections of it. And last segment, uh, was the vlog where I tested uh, the section where I tested uh, the uh, new HD camera which uh, allows me to film outdoors. Uh, I don't know how it's going to come out. It's really d difficult to determine what that it's going to be and I won't know until I upload this video and actually see what what results when you put it out on the internet on the uh, on YouTube. So uh, and then there's this one this is sort of the it's a uh, five it's 5 15 in the morning let's see what day it is today it's Monday and Monday October 21st so we're on the 21st here uh, but we're near the we're near the end of the day and but the thing is the beginning of the day is just a few hours away it's not it's it's it's, it's, it's so the day is gonna end and then the day is going to begin again. It's going to be another one of those long period type of things. And where I take my rests in between as I can. And that's what happens over the weekend when these long, when I have these long, uh, prolonged, these sort of these prolonged uh, days that go over 24 hours. Is the rest comes as you can in between. And if you notice, we've been doing this since Thursday. Since Thursday, we've been on this sort of routine where there isn't a straight rest. You rest where you can. And because of that, the time shifts as to when you start your day and when you end your, end your day. And so, right after this segment, I'm going to begin the new segment, uh, which will begin the, the day for Monday. 
So if we want to do that, we'll, we'll do a, a, a sort of a, a, a wrap up that uh, although it's uh, 515, this is the ending uh, video. This is the ending video for uh, the uh, weekend's vlog from 18th, from October 18th to the 21st. That's that one vlog all together. Uh, so this is the ending segment. And I did some extra work on uh, IPTV. I've got most of the IPTV fi figured out. Uh, I've got it more or less configured. Uh, there was some extra work I did uh, when I got up today. Uh, I added in a new browser. And I will be in uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix to tell uh, that web series there, which is a business Linux show. I will be going, I'll be spending two whole episodes on Android. So watch for that because I'll have a lot of details as to the configuration of IPTV, particularly as an using Android as your TV device. No longer is it Android just simply for uh, your, fo your phone or smart pad or whatever. Now you can use Android for your TV. There is, an, there is an Android option for the TV, for IPTV, and I will go into that in the in the second episode dedicated to uh, dedicated to uh, Android. The first uh, episode that's coming up on uh, that's coming up this week for Ubuntu BSD Unix to tell, which is on Android, um, is going to cover a large chunk of. Uh, the overview of Android, going into what Android is and what Android isn't. And this will sort of get us set up to move into Android development uh, to create one, an Android IDE, and then eventually to migrate Android to a full version of Linux. And that's, a, that's where we're going. We're, we're going to migrate Android to a full version of Linux. And this will sort of beginning the beginning work for it, the beginning conceptual work for it. This is where it's going to begin. And this is where we're going to take things. So, a lot of that work was done. Uh, I did some more work on the kitchen diner. That's the diner that I have in here. Again, that's going to be, there is going to be a web series that I'm working to build from the kitchen diner that I have as my own little restaurant, my own little diner in my place here. It's going to become uh, it's going to become a web series where I can do cooking shows and a whole bunch of other different things in there. Uh, and for that, for that right now, oh, that's the other thing that was I did over the weekend. I got um, it was the first operation of the full Cyborg Alpha Mu. The uh, well, the uh, Cyborg M, the Mu stands for uh, mobile. Mu is the Greek letter M. And so now I have a a, a portable uh, uh, extension to Cyborg Alpha, so I can take Cyborg Alpha more or less. Anywhere I want, and anywhere I go, there is still uh, on the go configuring that has to be done. I'll be doing that today. I'll be going out, and you'll be seeing this as I go out. You'll be able to follow me around on, in the vlog for today uh, uh, as I go around. But uh, Cyborg Alpha Mute was working uh, uh, yesterday over the weekend. I was able to get work done on it. Now is to sort of now start building on that and really uh, there's a whole new but another two weeks of configuring on cyborg out from you before I start extending it further out into uh, uh, into cyborg alpha so anyways uh, I'm gonna leave that here for now this is the end of the day for uh, October 18th this is for the for that, that, that that one this this last video here so I'm gonna say Goodbye and see you in a few minutes for the next uh, uh, BTS vlog because the next BTS vlog is going to be in a few minutes.